Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's sketch for Follow a Sketch February 2024 is this sketch designed by Jennifer Edwardson. Um, it is uh, a sketch challenge that she had made for Creative Scrapbooker magazine. Now I am actually going to turn the sketch this way, or maybe this way. Anyway, we're flipping the sketch and I'm going to make it a two-page layout. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I have pulled out a good bit of items from that kit. Uh, this piece of green paper is one of them, uh, and so are a few of the other items that I am pulling out. Now, not only did I decide to flip the sketch on its side, I also decided to make it a two-page layout. And it's been a hot minute since I have filmed the intro for this video. Uh, so I don't remember if I said that in the intro and nope, I couldn't be bothered to listen to my own self talk. Um, I run my mouth a lot and hear myself a lot. I don't like to go back and watch my own videos. So I am using this striped paper from Coco Vanilla Studio and I am just cutting it down uh, so that it is equal pieces. Now there was a tiny little bit to cut off uh, even though I was cutting them into four uh, strips of three inches, which, you know, four times three equals 12. But not all 12 by 12 papers are created equally, and not all 12 by 12 papers are exactly square, nor are they exactly 12 by 12. So there is that to deal with. So I'm going to take these striped papers, and I am going to... Uh, go ahead and um, get those down onto the top and bottom edges of both of the white cardstock pieces that I'm using. And again, had to do a little trimming uh, because they do go over the edge of that white cardstock. Now, I could have used any piece of paper here. It did not have to be white cardstock. I think I'm going to cover up all of the white here. So if you had some ugly pattern papers in your stash that you were feeling guilty over, by the way, don't feel guilty over. Get rid of them if you don't like them. Uh, but if, if you're still working through that guilt, um, you could use some ugly pattern papers here. Oh, there might be a little bit of white where the title is, but you could always cover that up with something. Uh, use your ugly pattern papers for things like this where you need them just as a base to your layout. So uh, here are a lot of photos um, from that light installation, which is affectionately known as that weird shit date. And oops, forgot to put adhesive on the back of that photo. So need to add the adhesive to there and then go ahead and get this uh, placed down on top of my layout. Now I did make the colored striped pattern paper go from blue to the pinks all the way back to the blue again. Um, you could have done it so that it was blue on the left on both uh, the left and the right hand uh, layouts, but like I said, I decided to do it this way because it felt like it was a continuous line of color and it just, you know, went kind of down rainbow-like. Um, I say rainbow like because these weren't exactly rainbow colors, but it's close enough and I am excited for it. So I'm going to go ahead and get those on here. I think that this is a fun way uh, to get all of my photos in the album because I did take a lot of photos of the lights and I thought I was just going to do a layout or two and then use some divided page protectors and just pop the photos in there. Um, however, I'm getting a lot of photos on the page and I'm feeling uh, pretty good about the way that it's going. Um, I've also been really um, doing some two-page layouts lately. I don't think I've shared all the videos on my channel, but I have scrapped um, more two-page layouts in the past couple weeks than I have in the past couple months. So uh, that is something that is pretty exciting. And look, you could cover up your ugly paper completely because I decided to put a scrap of blue paper here. Now I originally was going to put the pink paper there because it was kind of in line with the colors um, but then I decided to go with blue since the blues were on the outside of the page and then it kind of has blue throughout the entire layout now. So this is some ribbon that I have and I was trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do with it 
whether I want it these green stripy bits or if I want it the uh, the the ribbon with the humper border on it or the glitter ribbon and it was just a matter of figuring out which I liked together the best and ultimately I decided to put the green paper underneath of the the photos to tuck it in a little bit and then I'm going to take this ribbon and place it across the top of the green paper. Now what that has done is my green paper kind of fits beautifully in between the humper borders there. Um, there is ribbon in between the humper borders but it is uh, pretty see-through so you still get that green color through there and I really like the effect that this has. Um, could have also used a uh, humper border punch or uh, anything like that but I really do like uh, the look and feel of some fabric on my pages so this is what I went with. I am going to do it across the top and the bottom uh, of both of these pages and I really think that that's going to give this layout a, a fun look right it's also it also feels a little bit of a throwback uh, to the things that I used to do with ribbon and things um, I used to layer ribbon and paper together. Feels like feels like a lot, maybe not a lot, but I remember doing it back in the day, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get that down. Now the beautiful thing is that the ATG that I've gone ahead and put straight across that green paper is not really coming through the meshy part of the ribbon that's covering up. So I don't have to worry about things sticking or the layout sticking to the page protector. Maybe in the future I might, like maybe it'll work itself through the ribbon, who knows. Uh, but right now I am not uh, really stressing about it or really worrying about it uh, whatsoever. Uh, so next I'm going to do it on the other side of the layout as well. Now if I had known this plan from the beginning, Maybe I wouldn't have cut my green strip so thick to begin with, but I had no idea. At first, I thought I was just going to put big, thick stripes of green uh, across the page uh, horizontally uh, because I have these big, thick stripes of color going vertically, right? Like, that's what I thought. Now, if you did have two pieces of paper of that beautiful uh, striped uh, color, which I did at one time, but I don't have two pieces anymore. You could have just built your entire layout on top of that as well. Um, but this way I am stretching one piece of paper to go across two pages and I like it and it's feeling good. Now I do think that my left hand layout, the green bit kind of slants, right? If you're looking from the center over to the left, it kind of goes up. I'm not stressing about that. I realized that it did that when I was taking pictures of it for the video and then I was like, you know what, it's staying like that. I don't have time to mess around with that. Now, if it absolutely drives you crazy, if that is your naked tag hole, you guys, then go ahead and fix it. I don't think that it goes up a whole heck of a lot. It's just a tiny little bit, uh, but like I said, I am not worrying about it. Now, I did think about bringing in that glitter ribbon as well, maybe putting a little bit at the very top or at the very bottom of the layout, but ultimately I decided that that was gonna be too much and I was going to end up covering too much of the beautiful, uh, colorful striped paper, which is kind of the base of everything. Uh, so I did go into that kit and pulled out this uh, Happy Planner sticker book. Um, it is a rainbow sticker book, so it definitely fits in. Now, in the sketch, there were areas of embellishment, and I decided that I was going to kind of put my areas of embellishment where they felt the best. And that means it's going to be uh, a, a title area in this kind of title block, and then I would put together and make some embellishments uh, on two other places on the page. Now, the reasons why I chose the places that I did was I did not want to cover up too much of the photos, right? Like I know I have a lot of very similar looking photos, but it's just cool, you guys, right? Like it's just cool. So I don't want to cover up too much. A little bit, I'm not gonna worry about it. Now say if I only had one photo of this entire event, which would be kind of crazy, but say I did, like I probably wouldn't cover up any portion of the photo whatsoever. Um, I wouldn't have anything layer over top of it because I'd want the whole effect. 
but I feel like since I have so many photos and it's definitely spanning over a couple of pages that you're going to get the full effect anyway. Now these Happy Planner stickers are super thin because, you know, they're meant to go in a planner. Um, so what I am doing is putting them on some cardstock to go ahead and give them a little bit of thickness. Um, and that's going to make it so that the stickers kind of don't um, like lean over anything. So they're not going to have lumps and bumps in them. Now, sometimes I don't mind uh, lumps and bumps on my layouts with my stickers. And sometimes I just uh, can't be bothered. Um, and this is one of those times where I just can't be bothered with the lumps and the bumps. Um, I am placing it on black cardstock. Uh, what that's going to do is allow me to cut around it to give it a little bit of a border. Um, I wanted that kind of differentiation uh, between the stickers and the color in the photos and also the color on the pattern papers and ribbons and things. Uh, I just felt like it needed that little bit of dividing line, right? Like I felt like otherwise... Uh, my decorations for the page were kind of just falling into the page and getting a little bit lost. And I didn't want that. I wanted you to be able to uh, see them. So I am flipping through my book one more time. Um, and then I am going to make some final decisions and actually get these little uh, clustery bits uh, together. So there is a sticker that I cut out. It says more. Um, and then I have this wood veneer word that says shine. Um, and you might have seen me when I was going through my stickers um, in my crafty organization and purge. Um, probably less purge because I really don't... Um, I really don't buy a lot of things anymore that I am not in love with, right? Like I just don't. I buy the stuff I know I'm going to use and I really like. Um, sometimes it's just you have too much of something um, or, or you get things that come along with other things and you're like what is that or you see something online and you buy it because you think you love it and once you get it in person it's like oh that's not what it looked like online you know what I mean so anyway you might have seen me um, pull out that shine and I also had these light bulbs uh, over here that are kind of chilling on the left hand side of the layout and I knew that I was going to use them together on a layout, so I kept them off to the side, and then I got to uh, use it right on here. So I decided to cut out one of those kind of bubbles and cut off the little bubble line, and then I'm going to build my title on there where it says More Shine. I am using my Nouveau Deluxe. It is by far my favorite uh, liquid glue. Uh, it is is great. It dries matte. It dries clear. Um, and I, I usually say it doesn't clog, but for some reason this bottle is giving me a fit. Um, and this bottle is cloggy this time. Um, so I don't know if it's something I'm doing differently. Who knows? Um, could be me. Could be the bottle. Who knows what it is, but you just stick a little needle in there and unclog it. I do store it upside down, so it, it shouldn't be drying up in there, but whatever. Um, I've heard a couple other people say that their bottles are cloggy too. It could be the size of the bottle because the, the size of the bottle is larger than what it used to be. Who knows what the reason is, but it's the best, um, it's the best liquid adhesive ad out there. I've tried just about all of them and this is the one that I've stuck with and keep going back and keep buying. So like 10 out of 10, four stars, or is it five, five stars, five stars would recommend. You know what I mean? Okay. So I am going to use these little light bulbs and I'm going to uh, kind of adhere them together on top of my decorative areas. I'm also going to bring in these cork light bulb stickers and get those on top of the little decorative areas too. I don't necessarily need a whole heck of a lot of room for journaling because like I said, um, I've gone from the idea of one or two layouts with photos and page protectors to layouts spanning. So... I'm not, I'm not really worried about getting lines and lines of journaling on here. So I am going to uh, overlap that. I'm liking the way that this looks. I'm liking the way that this feels. Um, I feel like the title of More Shine totally works because this is very light, bright, shiny. 
um, experience uh, that we went to. And then I'm just making sure to get the light bulbs um, in all three of my little decorative areas so that there is some continuity uh, throughout the layout. Now, of course, this looks like a layout that's supposed to be together on the left and the right hand side. It's like the, the pattern paper and ribbon and things are mirror images of each other. So you would think um, that that would be kind of obvious, but you know, I just, I, I just want that extra continuity. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and make sure that those light bulbs get on the places. It's just a matter of figuring out where they look good, um, where I can nestle them in uh, so that they aren't necessarily covering up too many things. Now this I'd forgot to adhere it down, so I had to add some adhesive to make sure that it went on there. Now on this one I did cover up just a tiny little bit of the photo uh, because I didn't want any gap between the photo and the title. Um, if I would have left the gap there would have been some of that blue paper behind it and I did not want that. I am going to add on um, some of these little enamel dots too. Um, this was a thing that I was going through my stuff and putting away things where they needed to go, going through it, all that, and I put them with the, um, the light bulbs and the shine word because I felt like it was a good color match. So I went ahead and did that. So there it is, you guys. That is basically going to do it for today's sketch. I am going to add a little bit of gold chroma, ornament gold chroma mist from Brutus Monroe. And then after that, um, I think that might be all. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for playing along with Follow a Sketch February. Uh, be sure to use the hashtag. Please use the hashtag, um, hashtag F-A-S-F-E-B-24 so I can find you guys. Um, I've come across layouts that are awesome, not using the hashtag, and that's how I'm searching it. So please do that if you do that. Also join the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group where you can find all of the sketches and you can post your creations for all of us to ooh and ah over. Um, that would be awesome. And that is finally going to do it for this layout and I will finally hush my face. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.